Hi everyone, Lita here. So today I decided um, that I want to do something different with my hair. I've gone blue for some time now and even though I like it, it washes out so easily like you can tell in my roots. It's kind of greenish over here as well and I want to try to kind of not eliminate entirely but minimize how much of the blue washes out on the edges of my hair. Like even if you look back here, it's pretty yellow. And so I figured maybe I can do something um, with coloring my hair as close to its natural color as possible. And as I thought about it throughout the day, I think I'm just gonna, let me take this pin out. I think what I'm going to do is kind of separate the middle section or maybe by the crown of my hair most of my blue and then do maybe like a two-tone deal going on here I'm not too certain yet but you know I'm gonna go ahead and work on this and I'm hoping that since this is my first time venturing into going back to a natural color using um, a permanent hair color. I'm going to use this guy, Color Brilliance, um, from Ion in number 305400, and it's dark as brown. I don't know if that's visible with the lighting and the shininess of this product, of the uh, packaging on this guy. But this is what I'm going to use to kind of go back close to my natural color. I don't know if you could tell in there, the roots are coming out already. And it's a pretty dark brown, almost black color. So I'm going to kind of separate some bangs and some uh, side colors for myself here. I want to do like all around the edges here in black and then maybe like from here down in black. And that way I have like a two-tone deal going on. So I'm just going to go ahead and film all of this. And you guys can enjoy some music while I continue my work. And we'll see how the finished result comes out. And if I don't like it or if I screw up and burn my hair or something funky happens, I can always cut it. No biggie, right? So go ahead and enjoy some music and I'm going to get to work.
nice pair of gloves definitely helps. Keep my nails nice and fancy and my skin nice and clear. I'm not going to use any Vaseline to protect the edges because I'm kind of going to twirl them into themselves. And you know, my hair falls on that area anyway, so even if my skin does get colored by the permanent hair color, it's something that eventually washes off. And like I said, my hair is going to cover it, so to me it doesn't even really matter. So I'm mixing my color with my developer. And I'm using 20 developers, so hopefully, like I said, I don't ruin my hair. And if I do, haircut time, right? Thinking I might need a little more developer in this because it's kind of lumpy. Just add a little more. I want a creamy consistency. And while I mix this up, I just want to make sure that you guys know I am not a professional. I am a DIYer. I strongly believe in saving money by doing stuff myself. So trial and error has been my teacher. And this is the first time that I'm going to try doing permanent color on hair that has been bleached. And then um, I've used Manic Panic in my hair ever since I bleached. And I don't know what the result's going to be. I will be find that, finding that out today. So I just want to let you guys know that you want to consult a professional. And, you know, if you want to kind of be ballsy like me and try it at home, you know, talk to people, you know, go to your local beauty parlor and see if they can give you some information. Or even, you know, at the beauty supply store, some of those people are pretty knowledgeable. But yeah, so... Uh, gather your information, educate yourself before you take a step, and if it's too daunting for you, get someone to help you out. Got my creamy consistency now. And I'm going to get started.
poked my eye and I got a little black on me there, but like I said, those things wash out and I'm not going anywhere for a couple of days, so I'll be fine. All right, so now I'm done with the front. I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the back. If you're not as gutsy as I am, go ahead and invite a friend to come help you and make sure that they keep the top and the bottom separate. You don't want to mix in the colors if you're what you're trying to do is keep these colors separated. So I'm just rubbing whatever I had on my glove off on the tips here just so I could get a fringe kind of cleanish start with my gloves and I'm just gonna grab my trusty mirror and then get started on the back. you might get a dab on there if you do don't panic it washes off eventually you can just put a little Vaseline petroleum jelly on your ears or conditioner and it'll help prevent it get so dark
areas that I want in black. And I do have a little bit left. So as opposed to wasting product, I'm just gonna go back over it and make sure that I didn't miss any spots. For the sake of being thorough, not wasting product, as well as not missing any strands of hair that are blue and I actually want black. <laughs> Side burns really good because I did get in there really well with the bleach the last time I did my hair so I don't want to have any blue or bleached or greenish hair in this area These baby hairs up on front the color so I'm just gonna wait a couple more minutes and while I'm waiting what I'm gonna do is just comb out all these sections try my best to keep it up off of my forehead if it gets on there no big deal my hair's gonna cover it anyway Check the back. 
So you're going to touch the rest of my neck. Any product left behind gets wiped right back on. Again, for the sake of thoroughness. Okay, so it's been about 35 minutes total from the start time of applying the color to this moment right now. I've checked the color and I'm satisfied with it. I can always go back and do touch-ups in the future if it doesn't come out to my Lita standards. But so far, I like the uh, coverage that I got, even though I still have the mix in my hair. So I'm going to go ahead, put my head in uh, under the faucet here and rinse this all off. I will not be working with this section here because I want to switch from this blue to like a, um, like a turquoise blue. So I want to wait for this to kind of wash out a little more. And then maybe in a week or two, I'll come back and revisit this uh, crown section here. But for today, we're only going to work here. And I'm going to go ahead and rinse my hair out and I'll be right back. All right, so I've conditioned my hair and I'm just using regular conditioner. I think it's Pantene avocado oil one. Uh, yeah, it's uh, with avocado oil. And I'm just going to let it sit for a couple minutes, but this is what it's looking like so far. So I'm going to let this sit maybe like 5-10 minutes and then I, um, I rinsed out all the hair color and that's what I did. I added the conditioner just to uh, give some loving to this area right here that was previously uh, bleach treated and um, because it is my baby hair and it gets really kinky curly, um, the bleach uh, took it to like the next level with the frizziness. So let me give this some loving and then I'll be right back with my hair. Hopefully dry, if not halfway dry, and styled. So I'll see you guys shortly. So I like what I've got so far. I put some coconut oil into my hair. I've got this guy. And um, just trying out new things, of course. Uh, well, obviously I'm trying out new things. Check out the hair. but. <laughs> Um, I wanted to try coconut oil. Someone suggested it for oil pulling, for your face, for your hair, for all sorts of things. So this is the one I bought just to start out with. I got it at Target. I forget the price. I had a coupon for it, so I'm not going to remember the price. But um, I like how it's treating my hair considering it's been processed so much with the bleach previously. And then um, I just applied that into my hair, kind of style it. It makes it a little straight when... Um, my hair is wet, it sticks kind of straight out, like if I had super straight hair, but my hair is actually really wavy and curly. So as the water dries out, the coconut oil keeps it moisturized, it feels really soft, and I get the texture in my hair that you know I naturally have. But here is the final look of the black around the edges here, and it colored in pretty decently. Considering I only left it in for half an hour. And uh, I am pretty satisfied. I don't think as of this moment, I honestly don't think of this moment that I'm going to be cutting my hair because I do want to grow it out. So I may just rock this style with different colors up here until my hair grows out uh, substantially and then maybe style it different uh, whether it's with actual like braids and ponytails and things or give it a different uh, hairstyle with an actual cut. So I'll determine that at the time and um, hopefully this really gives me what I want as it grows out. And But I actually like it. I like it really quite, quite a bit. I like how the blue kind of fades in to the black. If I split it to the side, like do maybe like a side part, nice and neat, um, you know, you could see that and I like that too, that looks pretty cool. If I just do one of those, that looks pretty neat. So uh, yeah, um, I guess depending what I will be in the mood for at the moment. I'll know whether I want to do it like this or like that. 
kind of a sticky now because it's wet with the coconut oil and I washed my hair with cold water so the coconut oil is kind of hardening a little bit. But you know, as the hair warms up because of, you know, it's on my head, I'll, um, the coconut oil will soften up and that'll be good. And then my hair will get the texture that it normally has. It won't be so spiky straight. I, I can't wear my hair like this ever because it doesn't stay like that, it curls up. Um, but yeah, I am in love with this. So go ahead, leave your comments, rate, subscribe, let me know what you think. Hit the like button in the face, poke it in the eyeball, you know, share it, and uh, leave your comments. Let me know what you think. Um, and I will be doing this color with uh, the next trial. It's the Manic Panic Atomic Turquoise. So I'll, uh, yeah, I love it. I hope you guys like it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.